library and so we'll go al alphabetically by last name. Um, <laughs> Andrews, Bird, yes. Carmichael, hold on. Um, we had a wonderful discussion in our groups. Um, I think we did it a slightly different way, um, but I think we uh, came out with um, some interesting results. We were, um, one group was talking about real world challenges and they came, identified two major ones. Um, one was homelessness for um, our uh, patron groups, not only um, in public libraries, but in um, school libraries and um, community college libraries. They are um, confronted with a lot of um, issues about um, computer use and um, providing space and those kinds of things. Um, and we talked a little bit about um, the digital divide, um, especially with displaced workers um, in um, counties where a lot of um, layoffs are happening and and that um, brings up, you know, how do people apply for jobs when they don't know how to use the computer and um, that certainly goes back to information literacy that um, Sandra was talking about. Um, and with the um, issue of um, using, of dealing with homeless patrons, um, one person brought up that one of the things that we could do for students was to help them learn how to deal with um, challenging patrons, um, how to um, deal um, with those kinds of issues before they get out of the classroom. Um, we um, also talked about the need for partnerships and um, mentoring came up um, and but the mentors, the p potential mentors wanted to have training on how to be a good mentor <laughs> um, because it's not something you just necessarily know how to do um, and, and what, is, what are the expectations of the students from um, either a mentorship situation or a practicum situation and what are the expectations of the school uh, of the uh, program and also the expectations of um, the person that they're working for. Um, getting those all out on the table ahead of the practicum. Um, and um, one group talked about mentoring um, and how that is a responsibility of the larger community, the larger LIS community. Um, but also mentoring um, second year students to first year students, alumni to um, students, um, all of these kinds of relationships um, are important um, and should be fostered in our program. Um, we talked about service learning projects and how service learning projects uh, foster advocacy. And advocacy was a word that came up quite a bit um, because, and we talked a little bit about how service learning projects allow students to feel like a professional, to bring their skills to a situation where they can um, act as in a professional capacity and sort of um, spread their wings a little bit. And um, we talked about collaboration and partnerships and how, um, how successful um, collaboration is one of the ingredients of success of these mentoring and service learning projects and how we need to foster that um, across the board um, for all of the um, stakeholders there. And um, we talked a little bit about research, what research um, needs the community has from us. And um, we talked a little bit about how one of our um, LIS uh, goals is to have people uh, find information, but in order to um, have people interested in finding information, you have to fo foster curiosity, and um, that isn't necessarily how um, the educational system <laughs> um, trains students to be just sort of curious about stuff. And um, you know, why uh, do four, five, and six-year-olds? They're just you know, ready to learn everything, but by the time they're in eighth grade, they don't want to learn anything. Um, and why does that change happen, and how can we 
as LIS professionals, um, turn that, help turn that around for um, our educational systems, uh, all of the ones that we work for. And, um, and sort of in that same <coughs> regard, um, we talked a little bit about refreshing um, midlife professionals. Um, professionals who have been in the field for 20 years and maybe need to have their own curiosity refreshed <laughs> and in terms of new um, things that they need to learn to um, better do their jobs, etc. And um, to, you know, bring them to a new level. Um, as somebody said, there's four or five generations in the workplace. How do we um, get them all thinking and, and doing the same um, kinds of work in the same way? Um, and uh, I think that was it. So, Bill or?